the land given to Simeon. The second allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their homeland was surrounded by Judah's territory. Simeon's homeland included Beersheba, Sheba, Malada, Hazashurl, Vala, Zim, Eltalade, Betal, Hrama, Zaklag, Beth Makabath, Hazasuzar, Bethlebaoth, and Sheruan, 13 towns with their surrounding villages. It also included Ain, Reman, Ether, and Ashen, four towns with their villages, including all the surrounding villages as far south as Balathbi, also known as Rama of the Negev. It was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. The allocation of land came from part of what had been given to Judah because Judah's territory was too large for them. So the tribe of Simeon received an allocation within the territory of Judah. The land given to Zebulun. The third allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun. The boundary of Zebulun's homeland started at Sarad. From there it went west, going past Merala, touching Debisheth, and proceeding to the brook east of Jokneem. In the other direction, the boundary went east from Sarid to the border of Kisloth Tabor, and from there to Debroth and up to Jephiah. Then it continued east to Gathhepa, Ethkazin, and Rimmon and turned toward Nair. The northern boundary of Zebulun passed Hanathan and ended at the valley of Ibdarel. The towns in these areas included Keteth, Nahalil, Shimron, Adala, and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Issachar. The fourth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Issachar. Its boundaries included the following towns, Jezreel, Kezalath, Shunem, Hephiraim, Shin, Anuharoth, Rebirth, Kishon, Ibez, Meth, Aganim, Ahada, and beth -Pez. The boundary also touched Tabor, Shai-Zama, and beth -Shemesh ending at the Jordan River, 16 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Issachar included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Asher. The fifth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Asher. Its boundaries included these towns, Helkath, Hali, Beton, Akshaf, Elamelech, Amade, and Mishal. The boundary on the west touched Carmel and Shulibnath, then it turned east toward Beth Dagon and ran as far as Zebulun in the valley of Yiptirel, going north to beth Nail. It then continued north to Kabul, Abdon, Rahab, Haman, Kana, and as far as Greater Sidon. Then the boundary turned toward Rama and the fortress of Tyre, where it turned toward Hosar and came to the Mediterranean Sea. The territory also included Mehbel, Achib, Amma, Afek, and Rahab, 22 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Asher included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Naphtali. The sixth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali. Its boundary ran from Helif, from the Oketz Arnanim, and extended across to Adami Negeb, Chadneel, and as far as Lake Um, ending at the Jordan River. The western boundary ran past Asnath Tabor, then to Hakok, and touched the border of Zebulun in the south, the border of Asher on the west and the Jordan River on the east. The fortified towns included in this territory were Zedim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Kinnereth, Adama, Rama, Haza, Kedesh, Etre, Anhaza, Yayan, Megdalel, Horem, Bethanath, and Beth Shemesh, 19 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Dan. The seventh allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Dan. The land allocated as their homeland included the following towns. Zara, Eshel, Ayashemesh, Sharlabin, Ejelon, Urthla, Elan, Timna, Ekron, Eltgay, Jibethan, Barlath, Jihad, Benbarak, Gathreman, Mejakin, Rakin, and the territory across from Joppa. But the tribe of Dan had trouble taking possession of their land, so they attacked the town of Lish. They captured it, slaughtered its people, and settled there. They renamed the town Dan after their ancestor. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Dan included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Joshua. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation. For the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose Timnathsir in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. These are the territories that Eliezer the priest, Joshua son of Nun, 
and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shil. So the division of the land was completed.